All right, guys. Hopefully, this is gonna help. Um, this is for the DB Power amps, and when you get them, it comes with a little disc, and you insert it to your disk drive. You click on it, and this is what comes up right here. Um, I suggest this first one right here, instruction videos, um, that you take the minute to explore this and watch some of them. It has your user manual. The IPCC CMS Pro for PC is what you want to install on the computer. So you're going to click on it. This is the file right here, the one that says application. And you're going to double click on it, wait for it to load, run through, make sure you follow the prompts, um, read carefully. And when it's done, this program right here is what it is. And yes, I'm going to allow it to run. Um, these are my cams that I have up and running. And yes, they are running wirelessly because these are wireless IP cams. They need a power source, so yes, they have to be plugged in. But I have no internet cable running from my modem to either of the cameras. Um, your device list is right here, and these are the cams listed. Under device configuration, you would hit search. And then this is where your cameras come up, where they're listed, what their IP is. You double click it here on the right, and it adds it over here to the left. See the 192.168.0.112? That's this one right here. So you right click, and you click on remote. And it brings up this pretty little settings box, and there is a lot in here. What you need to do to set it up for your wireless is under network parameter and it's your Wi-Fi setup. This needs to be DHCP, Wi-Fi mode station, and this is all here. You click search and it brings up a list of all local networks. You find yours. You want to take note to your security settings. Mine is use me for school and this is my security setting. And that one in here, operation is infra, the encryption mode matches, and then you have to put in your password. I have the WPS button disabled, so that because you can just press the button and it'll configure it, and I just bypass that. I don't like that at all. It's a pain in my butt. Um, and then you would hit apply, and then when you close out, you're going to get a little pop-up box, you want to hit OK on that because it's going to change the settings in the flash. When you click apply, it's going to, you're going to change the IP address. You can then unplug the Ethernet cord and you're set to go wireless. And then you come over here to live to view your camera. And this one down here on the bottom is the dome. Cam. And down here at the bottom, it has the display windows and I can set it to floor. This is the one that I call the gun style cam. Um, and you can see my pup, Ozzy, he's out there. There's that, this camera. Down here at the bottom, this camera, you can use it to take a picture, and it'll pop up. Which, okay, where, do your, where does your stuff go? System configuration. You click here to select your path. Uh, the record download, I have set to videos. The record clip file, I have that set to videos. And for images, I have it set to pictures. So that's where that is. And then I'll show you how to find this stuff real quick. Let me get over here and this. And here we are in my pictures. Here's the two cameras. And there's the picture from Outback. Again, videos. It'll go there, but I don't have any that I've recorded yet. So, but I just wanted to show you guys um, how to set it up and I've got any questions, feel free to PM me. Have a nice night, guys.